iwe mambo ya kuteremsha gharama ya matibabu kwa wananchi ambao wako chini walipe NHIF pesa kidogo kuliko matajiri hiyo itafanyika na tumekuwa na discussions mingi sana na rais wetu na he has full commitment to ensure that all those promises come true nimshukuru tena pia ingawaje atukuweza kumpatia 100% ya kura yetu lakini akaona atupe nafasi mingi za ma CSS eh, principal secretaries tuko na CS rafiki yangu mtua tuko na CS malonza tuko na so many PSs ambao wote ni marafiki wangu ambao tumefanya kazi kwa karibu sana PS Terimbaika PS Mweke au wote ni watu ambao tumefanya kazi kwa karibu sana kina Veronica and the rest Hii ni serikali ambaye tuko karibu sana nayo na hakuna sababu yoyote tusiweze kufanyia wakamba kazi na pia wakenya kazi ni mshukuru rais wetu jamani maajabu kwamba sasa leo mimi kawaya Mutu mwenye ana mwili mimi sasa ndio nasimamia stima yote Kenya. Yaani Na kaini mutavie. Mwenye ndio ngamia stima Kenya ukaamba umeliwa pa kwa kwa. Pa hiyo ndio watu wanekana lazima moyo wa stima usu. Yoni kwa lazima kuma kila kutoroka na niba nyawe kinyangwe ndaki yani yani iwa ni mo yani ngamia siendo tia Kenya yonde yani yote konde konde iwa ni bando yani na you kato tayi kiami bango tu ambe kuidi enjoy na stima nesa tu ambe kuidi enjoy yandu mambe iwa mambo manai masako mo yumba wa yudi ano umena yata wakawaya kana inga tu nundo angi tu 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 lazima tu kasa media nundo Kenya ti nene lakini kwa hii unamuwe andai sasa kala mendila nene nene. Kanati uwa? Kwa honi andani tunge muwe ya muno kwa President Wito because of honoring me with that task to lead the parliamentary committee on energy. That is so many departments that have a huge implication on the development of this country mheshimiwa nikimalizia e gesture ambaye ni ya leo i want us to look at it kwa njia mbili kwamba tushukuru huu msaada ambaye ofisi yako ofisi ya rais wametusaidia niseme kwamba kabla hii mvua ambayo tumeanza kuona ilete mazao hawa wananchi watataka chakula zaidi sasa itabidi tujipange kurudi tena na tena kwa sababu ingawaji kuna msaada mkubwa ambao tumepata leo na ni kwa kila mtu bae vanda emai nuka akindu nenge kobe ndi bane wanusu pakati wa langi kila mtu tio wae leo yake ndo and i agree with our president that this is a better approach than giving consumption subsidies kwa sababu kuja useme chakula utateremsha unga kwa mia moja. na hiyo mia moja unapatia shopkeeper it is very difficult to audit uweze kujua huyo shopkeeper aliuza mifuko ngapi na wakati kulikuwa na wizi mwingi na corruption they were using consumption subsidies as a channel to 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 steal na ndevo ni ni better so that badala hii pesa ya kusubsidize si nanunuliwa chakula mingi inapewa watu free kwa sababu wakati una subsidize chakula una subsidize unga hata kwa tajiri ambaye ahitaji hiyo subsidy because the moment unasema umeteremsha hii mimi kweli kawaya nilikuwa nataka kuteremshiwa si mia yangu ionganishwe na mia ingine ipewe mwingine for free kama hiyo pesa iweze kupatiana msaada kama relief food it is a better approach na tuweze pia kuunganisha chakula zaidi ndio tuweze kusaidia mashule zetu. I want to thank Red Cross kwa ile kazi wamekuwa nafanya. Nataka pia ni shukuru Hindu Council. Uh, your Excellency tuko na organization inaitwa the Hindu Council ambaye hii area wa Munyu wametusaidia sana 
wametupatia school feeding program for quite a number of schools and so many others but moving forward we need to find a way a long lasting solution kwamba sometime in future we will not depend on the relief food nyinyi kama vile umesikia na nimesikia watu wa red cross wanasema huenda pia atukokosa kupata mvua ya kutosha huu msimu and therefore our solution lies in irrigation na serikali iko na uwezo tusaidiane tuweze kutoa maji mahali ambapo hiko tusaidie wananchi waanze na small scale irrigation so that we become food secure na mimi tayari nimeanza mmesikia kwamba nimeanzisha muradi wa kutengeneza stima hapa kwa river muradi wa kwanza ambao nimefanya huko saa hizi 80% I'm generating electricity so that I can use that electricity to pump free water from the river nitoe nje kwa mabarabara na kwa mashamba watu waweze kufanya small scale irrigation kwa sababu miradi mingi ambayo mmoja umesikia mheshimiwa wenu ana anaongelelea MCA na muradi ingine inaitwa Kiaka all those projects have collapsed they have collapsed because the electricity bills are so high hiyo ya Kiaka saa hizi iko na bill ya 7 million within a very short time it has collapsed electricity disconnected why even ya wamunyu ambaye sasa iko na 1.2 the moment you rescue again it accumulates again So which is the solution? Why are we paying electricity bills when we have electric water which can generate microhydros? I am now the chairman of energy. Kuna legislation ambayo iko ya mambo ya mini grids. Na hizi mini grids iko na mambo ya mini hydros. We are going to come up with regulations and uh, legislations to empower more of microhydros ambazo zitatengeneza stima ya bure owned by the communities so that we can use it without Kenya Power kutulipisha pesa tuna pump maji tunapatia wananchi ili ambayo ambayo namalizika huko nimeomwangelesha rais wetu na ikikwisha ambayo mimi naijenga na pesa yangu binafsi na rais wetu ambaye ako na a lot of interest in this line of micro hydros has told me he will come to commission that project when it is ready and i am sure his commissioning will open ways so that now there is room for expansion of this kind of uh, projects across the country so that we become food secure na watu ambao wanachafua river yetu i am happy we have a good governor wavinya ambaye nimefanya kazi na yeye kwa siku mingi she is like a mother to me mtafute sakaja muongee mambo ya kuchafua hii river kwa sababu wakati mimi naanza kazi yangu hapa sitaki uchafu kwa hii river we are going to start charging and uh, suing companies ambazo zinachafua maji yetu katika ad river because then we cannot have one route ambao sasa tunatolea watu maji and there is somebody who is busy then polluting our river with so much said mimi niwashukuru sana na niseme bwana cabinet secretary we will go far with you mimi naona jani yako safari yako ni mrefu kwa utulivu wako tutatembea hii safari pamoja na tutaweza kusaidiana kwa mambo mingi ambayo inahusu siasa na ambayo pia inahusu kusaidia wananchi wetu wa Kenya. Gaina muadhime mono. Asante sana mheshimiwa Kawayo. Ngeniitwa heshima. Kaomba tusafu sahihi ni handover mic kwa county commissioner Machakos Madam Flora. Hatuwezi kukaribisha kwa makofi moja. Asante sana Deputy Count Commissioner wa eneo hili uh, Mr David Tegutwa. Amgen wetu wa Heshima wa siku ya leo uh, Prime Cabinet Secretary Honorable Msalia Mdavadi. Mheshimiwa Governor wetu wa Machakos, Mheshimiwa Governor uh, wa Vinyandeti. Mheshimiwa wa eneo hili ambapo tuko leo uh, Mheshimiwa Vincent Sioki. Um, our partner ambayo ni Red Cross wakiongozwa na Dr. Simiu maofisa wote wa serikali ambao mko hapa waheshimiwa wa bunge ya kaunti ya Machakos na wananchi hamjambo hamjambo tena mgeni um, wetu waheshima tunafuraha sana kuwa nawe siku ya leo 
uh, ni siku muhimu sana kwa watu wa Machakos. Um, wakati tulielezwa kwamba tunahitaji uh, kuwa na siku kama ya leo kwa sababu kuna launch ya chakula ambayo inafanyika Kenya mzima ikiongozwa na mheshimiwa wetu Rais Dr. Samuel Ruto. Um, tuliangalia kaunti hii ni wapi tunaweza kuwa kwa siku ya leo. Na tukiangalia vile tuko affected in the county sub county zetu za Mwala, Yata, Masinga among others Kalama ndio most affected. Kwa hivyo tukasema kwamba tuwe hapa ya Thwi naambiwa nitamuke ya Thwi. <laughs> Siku ya leo ili uweze ku, kuangalia we mwenyewe uone vile machako sinakaa na pia vile wananchi wa eneo hili wanahitaji msaada. Ha, tungependa kushukuru serikali kuhu kwa sababu a, wiki mbili zilizopita tumepata chakula ambayo tumeweza kupeana kwa kila sub county na pia Tunashukuru uh, mheshimiwa governor kwa sababu amekuwa akishughulika sana kutafutia wananchi wa Machakos chakula na amepata chakula kingi kutoka kwa washikadao. Mgeni wetu wa Ishma tulipopata chakula hiki uh, ambacho tulipata hapa awali kilikuwa ni gunia 1400 ya mchele na gunia 1600 ya maharawe tulisema tuweze kupea wakongwe katika um, sub county zetu zote na pia tuweze kuangazia mashule zetu kwa sababu tukipea chakula kwa shule basi watoto wanaweza kuja shule na wa, waendeleze na masomo kwa sababu wengi walikuwa wafiki shule kwa sababu ya njaa lakini kwa sasa watoto wetu wameweza kurudi shule kwa sababu tumeweza kupeana chakula kwa shule na tunahakikisha mgeni wetu wa heshima kwamba huu mwezi ambao umebaki kwa sababu watoto wako shule mpaka karibu tarehe nne mwezi huu watakuwa na chakula ili waweze kwenda shule na waweze kufanya mtihani wao. Ah tunashukuru serikali siku ya leo pia kwa sababu tumepata chakula hiki ambacho tunapeana hapa na pia tutapeana katika sub county zingine na sama shule kwa sababu kile chakula tumepata leo ambacho tutapeana hapa na pia iende kwa mashule ni gunia mbili ya mchele gunia themanini ya maharawe na carton hizi za nyama ile ambayo imesegwa carton 300 ambazo zitapeanwa hapa kwa hivyo wakongwe leo kuna nyama eh <laughs> Sio maharawe peke yake. Leo tutaenda nyumbani na nyama hata kama ni kidogo. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru serikali kwa jambo hilo. Um, bila waheshimiwa wamesema kaunti ya Machakos imekuwa affected kwa mambo ya chakula kwa sababu kwa msimu miwili sasa hatuchakuwa na mvua ya kutosha ya kuweza kuzalisha chakula cha kutosha. Kwa hivyo tuna population katika Machakos county ambao ni watu 1509 ambao wanahitaji msaada mpaka tuweze kupata chakula ambazo ni household elfu moja, eh, household 1442680 kwa hivyo hawa mgeni wetu wa heshima wanastahili kuendelezwa na kupewa chakula kila wakati mpaka tuweze kupata chakula Uh, wa msimu huu ukifika. Na tunatumaini kwamba tutaendelea kupata chakula hiki. Na pia tuna tungependa kushukuru washikadao wengine hasa Red Cross ambao wamekuwa na uhamasisho sana katika eneo hili. Ni vipi tunaweza kuchiandaa hasa kwa msimu huu wa mvua na ni chakula kipi ambacho tunastahili kupanda? Ni vipi tunaweza chunga mito yetu tuhakikishe kwamba hatuharibu mazingira zetu. Kwa hivyo tunawashukuru sana Red Cross kwa kuwa mshikadao mwema na pia tunaomba kwamba tunapoelekea msimu huu wa mvua mnapohamasisha pia 
kama kuna njia ya kuweza kupata miche ili tuweze kupea wananchi uh, tutashukuru sana kutoka kwa shirika lenu pia tungependa kushukuru mshirika mwingine ambayo ni World Vision mgeni wetu wa heshima World Vision wanafanya kazi kubwa sana hasa sub county ya Mwala peke yake <coughs> ambao wamesupplement serikali kwa hile uh, kuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wa eneo hili wanaendelea kupata chakula na kabla sijasema kuhusu msahal, msahada wa World Vision tunapopata hiki chakula mgeni wetu wa heshima ni vizuri pia wananchi wachue kwamba serikali kuu inagaramia wazee wetu wa konge na zile hera za cash transfer na katika kaunti hii tuna wazee wetu wa kongwe na moja ambao wana, wa, wana, wa, wako kwa huu mpango wa serikali na wanapata ile shilingi elfu mbili kila mwezi. Kwa hivyo ni mambo makubwa sana ambayo serikali kuu inafanya kuhakikisha kwamba hata wakongo wetu pia wana chakula na wanaweza kuchiendeleza. Wal um, Vision pia imesaidia kwa sababu kwa sub county hii imeweka wakongwe elfu moja ama households elfu moja mia tano ambao wanawasaidia kwa kila uh, mwezi mia, shilingi elfu ine na mia tatu kwa sasa wametumia <coughs> uh, shilingi milioni saba na ongea kwa niaba yao kwa sababu yule anashughulika na eneo hili hayuko leo na pia wameweka wanafunzi wameweza kusaidia jamii kuna wanafunzi mia tano ishirini ambao wanapata msaada wa bursaries katika eneo hili la mwala na kwa sasa wametumia milioni kumi na moja ambao inasaidia wananchi upande wa elimu pia wanasaidia sana kwa sababu shule zetu za mwara mbili wal vision wameweza kupeana uh, tangi zile za maji za elfu kumi liters kwa hizi shule zote na pia wanasaidia kuhakikisha kwamba wana track maji kwa hizo shule na kwa sasa wametumia karibu milioni mbili na nukta nne kwa hivyo tunawashukuru washikadao hawa wote kwa kuchangia kuhakikisha kwamba tunaendelea kushirikiana na kuhakikisha kwamba kaunti hii tunaendelea vyema um, ninachua kwamba governor amefanya mambo mengi hayo nitamwachia aweze kusema vile anaendelesha kuhakikisha kwamba anashirikiana na serikali kuu kwa mambo haya na kuhakikisha kwamba wananchi wetu wanapata chakula uh, msimu huu. Kwa hivyo mgeni wetu wa heshima kwa sababu ya wasaa na kushukuru sana tena kwa kuja na wakati huu ningependa kumkaribisha Dr. Simiu ambaye ni mshikadao wetu aweze kunena kwa niaba ya Red Cross. Daktari Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, asante sana bwana Madam DC, uh, the guest of honor, Your Excellency the Governor, and all protocols observed. My names are Dr. Henry Simiu. I sit on the National Executive Council of the Kenya Red Cross. I am also the chair to programs committee. Indeed, today is a great day because the drought situation in Kenya is very dire. We come together because we want to save livelihoods. It's only about human beings, even livestock. You can see, if you watch the media, you see exactly it's not so good. 4.3 million people have been affected, and more so in the other areas. And we have some counties about, we have about uh, 11 counties uh, in alarm stage. And those are Isiolo, like Kipia, Samburu, Wajia, Turkana, Kajado, Tanariva, and Marsabit. Those are in pathetic situation. We have nine counties which are in alert stage. And these are Embu, Makueni, Meru, Narok, Nyeri, Tarakanthi, 
and Kwale and Kilifi, and including Machakos, we see we thought it's only the Asal areas high up there, the northern frontier, but we realized the drought had affected more than what we thought. So we came together and said we must do something because alone we can't move. So the partnership that we formed is that we have to work together with the government, both the national government and the county government, and other partners that are there. The Kenya Red Cross is a leading humanitarian organization, and we have always been there, even in Machakos, we are there. We have our volunteers and members doing a lot of work here in Machakos. I might not be able to mention that. This is due to poor rain, and we have focused that the rains might not come because soon, or if it comes, it might not be in the right quantities that might be able to sustain uh, good harvests. So what are our interventions are we doing ourselves as Kenya Red Cross? These interventions that we are doing, we are doing across the, the, the country. We are doing across the country, and one of it is partnerships, like I've said, to create partnerships with the county governments, because that is where we are, that is where our operations are. Then we have the national government. This initiative has come because we sat together and we thought about it. As we talk today, we have many other people all over the counties doing the same where people are affected by drought. So indeed, like in, uh, in Okambana, I think we have another other group in Kitui. You can see. So we, Kenya Red Cross and other partners, because we have international partners that support our activities. So we mobilize the resources and say, no, we must come together and push this. So we have to do what we call food distribution, like what we are going to do today, because many people have been affected by hunger and they have nothing to eat. So what do we do? There's no rain, there's no harvest, so we have to give them food. But this is not a lasting solution. It's short term. Like uh, the area MP said, it's short term. And we have to look at long term solutions that we have to deal with. So what are we doing is that we also give what we call cash transfer to people. Because some areas, you might <laughs> give them maybe maharagwe, and they might not be able to eat maharagwe. You give them to decide what they want to buy with the money. So through other partners and our international organizations, they come together and they assist us in doing cash transfers. And, uh, it's quite all over the country. It's not only here. We have also done what we are talking about, water. The long-term solution is water, borehole sinking, and it's expensive to sink boreholes. Now we have water pans, we have rivers, we have rivers like here, we have the Mwishimiwa has just talked about it, the Athi, but Athi is polluted at the, in Nairobi. So chemicals, pollution, now we have also water hyacinth trying to get in there because they grow there because of the pollution. So what are we doing? So those are the efforts that we are looking at about it. We look for donors and maybe try to clean up this river so that water that comes here is able to save for drinking and also save for growing crops. Because if you put it, you grow, irrigate with this water, then you end up having problems like maybe cancer, like um, the high excellence the governor said, is because of that. Because some water, this water is also polluted with the heavy chemicals, lead and others, and they are not good for human consumption. So the vegetables that you eat, you might find that they are contaminated with such a things. Then we also have health and nutrition, which we, is in, we have integrated. Now we have now what the County Commission has just spoken about school children. You cannot actually be attentive in class if you have no food. We have also the under fives. You might have seen some place like in Turkana. In Turkana, you are seeing that people have nothing completely to eat. They are eating nuts, breaking nuts, or boiling nuts for quite for a long time. 
So what are we doing? We are providing them with the food, which are nutritious, and the people that have been affected with acute malnutrition, then we had it, we have retained them by putting them in hospitals and then they come back to normalcy. It's a bad situation. So we have mapped these sites, and that's why we're saying that we have mapped across the country, then we are able to go there, then we have this program, and then there's lactating mothers, mothers who are breastfeeding, then we have the elderly, those are the people that we are putting up targets. But we have a problem with now resources. Resources are quite di difficult for us to come across. The Kenya Red Cross deals with volunteers. So we have to look at the partnership that I'm saying. And we are very great today. The day of today is the government. We are an auxiliary uh, association, society to the government. So the government comes in. We have the network. We have the people. We are able to move up there. And finally, to finish is that for example, in Machakos, we have come up with put up drought resistant tolerant seeds so that people can plant. So that instead of waiting for us to come with donations, you have seeds that can be able to tolerate the seeds. You are, you are the Prime Minister. Those are the interventions that we are doing and the efforts and your assistance as the national government and the county government, we are likely to walk a longer distance. Thank you very much. Asante Nisana. Okay. Asante sana, Dr. Simiu. Wakati huu sasa ningependa kumkaribisha governor wetu wa Machakos, mwishimiwa wa Vinyandeti, hili aweze kunena. Karibu, governor. To our chief guest, my brother, Chief Minister, Musalia Mudavadi, to the area MP, Kawaya, MCS that are here, county government officers that are here, our security forces. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, my brother, for being here with us today. We Machakos people are very happy. We have collaborated with the national government to ensure that our people get food. Molio is a big issue in Okambani. I grew up, my people still being given molio. Your Excellency, we appreciate the food, but now what we need to do is invest in water, water, water Machakos County. And not Machakos County only. The whole country, we must learn how to harvest water. Because when it rains, it rains. And one of the things that is bringing global warming is just we allow all the water to get into the sea. Imagine if we planted trees along our rivers, we put dikes along our, rip, our uh, wares along our rivers, yeah? we had uh, small sand uh, dams, uh, sorry, small dams in our homes, you know, we'll raise the water table and we'll not have all this global warming. Now it is hot from the top, and from the ground. And that is why we are having all these problems. We all have to put efforts and work towards climate change. I know we have had issues in this area of cutting trees. I want to assure you, we as Machakos County government, we are not going to allow people to cut trees anymore. Because as we continue cutting down our trees, we continue spoiling our environment. I've been in the office since I was sworn in about a month and a few weeks. My government has already done 16 mini dams in Machakos County. We are already working on our water master plan in Machakos County. I have been around 
the whole county carrying out our CDIP. And what we are getting from most of the people from Machakos County is water. As we get food, and we appreciate very much, but would want making sure that our people have water and harvesting water. The other big issue we're having as Machakos County, and we have to work with Nairobi, is about the pollution of the river, the Athi River. We have a lot of pollution from Nairobi, even from the factories. The county government of Machakos has got to work with the county government of Nairobi, with the national government, to ensure that we reduce pollution. Not reduce, we stop pollution in our rivers. I've got a lot of cases from Wala of cancer. Most of the patients I'm getting in Machakos General Hospital are cancer patients from Wala. And it is to do with the, with the river, the pollution of the river. I think that is something we need to work on and we cannot gamble with anymore. Because it is going to be very expensive, very expensive for the government to continue treating people while we can stop all this even just by doing the right thing. In Machakos, we have also decided, we are blessed with the sun, it is too hot. Apart from the river, we are also going to harvest this sun to pump our water and reduce our electricity bills. When I came in Machakos, the electricity bill was 86 million. Just electricity. Mweshmua Kawaya, I'm going to take a bit of business from you and invest on solar. <laughs> because solar is what is going to help our people. Baito, Tetongia, Chief Minister, Mosalia Mudava di Mubea Nondo Kakuokuito. Tiwa, Tue Mutongia Mubea Muno, Nande Mau Kaku, Nondo Yu, Mokamania to see an event with two Amosi. Now you, or near me to a Yamuno, as Yaku in a chow. Kwena anza, na maambea na mwoni meo kuwete chao, leu, dina ati ndiyo na nyuko kwa ndiyo ndi, ndi asa maoni menyu, maundu ala muenda mekwe, kila muna nene ye munoni kewo na anza, tiwa, kewo na anza, na ndi nena nenyu nena muko uliai, muenda na mbo muna nga leu, kana muenda tutuwa leu maskulu ne, muna ambe yata, eh, muina ambe ye, Leu o munde mo nengwa, lakini leu to neng to tu alu maskulu ne na tu nenga ndwa la ko na ndwa la disabled tiwa, lakini ne toko kita we the alu ni taka ata muinge nondo si anambinge schoolu ike yo the schoolu nondo koi leu wa the we the atu anatume aninya ne me otu nenga leu to kazi na we schoolu ne na ndi ya schoolu e mo ne na the ne na the si anasilia iya. Tumwe tu ili yetu tena liu. Ondo ni nekia. Ni na atabi ya liu. Usu ni na nenga tu anatu utu ungi tunaya. Mbaito. Tembei mweyone. Sia na situ ni siyo dhena maskulu ni. Kwa u. Onate imu nenga liu. Eka liu olongi. Tutu wa maskulu ni. Na tu inenga. Andwa. Aku. Nundu aingi mekwa ni chao. Nenza. Mekwa nenza. Na kwa ndi muashua. Ta governor wenyu wa masaku. Nye ningu invest in the ni wake uyo. Nengu invest ke uone. Nondo tu hika atinde ya ondo ne anie ndie uya ovo wa ke uo ke uo. Onakwa ni no ye. Matinga ma kwa mama sakuma hika unga ma. Niko sao vya enda, we, enda wenze silanga. Enda wenze bohol. Ou oh, tusongete. Na teipa anda mitiku uma usini. Nikendando maitu mateleke. Kila kingi niko tumia sua kupamu ke uo. Nondo hii bilisi astima. Hii tonyeka. Nita kwa ateania. Na nyune kia solar panels, nesie kale, palasi ya ile kwekala. Na muisunga nikenda hikae. 
Chua mwisi kila kiende. Na siya mwisi teacher hu. E. Kila kingi nusio wadhi. Usio wito. Andwa inge kuma mwala. Wadhi pa ya masaku. Metuwa mena kansa. Na mundu kuthi treatment yesu ya kansa mbaka mweso. Nisawa nitu utata ni expensive. Lakini tika batu kathambia ose. Tiwe. Tu thambia ose. Tieta mazingira maseo. Nike ndandu maituma ya kiokuwa ni chao. Ni kansa. Kansa is very bad here. In Machakos County. And it is all because of pollution. Kwa u. Nitu ukwati ya niya na serikali. No nene. Na serikali ya ilobi. Tu akikishe ose. Ni wathambia. Kile kingine ndugu yangu, ningependa kukuambia when I was a chief administrative secretary in the Ministry of Transport Infrastructure, nilipatia na mabara mengi sana ya wekwe katika, ya, ya wekwe tamak. Hii barabara yetu ya wamunyu ya dhui na ikalasa ni moja ya. Ninge kuuliza tafadhali, ukirudi, wakikise, and you're my brother, that one you have to do it for me. Barabara imewekwa lami. Tuwekewe hiyo barabara lami na sio hiyo tukwe na ingine ya kangundo, mwala. We have a few. Zile sisi kama county tutaweza kufanya, tutafanya. Lakini munajua bajeti yetu, sio kubwa kama yenu. Yenu ni 85%, yetu ni 35%. Eh? Tunalewana. Kingine, ningependa kusema, TVS Youth Polytechnics are under county government. Of course, working with the national government. Kama ni gari, ni konazo, kujeni mchukue gari. Tisawa, uka mua sengali mua te polytechnic. And there is a program we are also working with, with the national government. The program tu, thukuma, kuna program tunafanya nawa na national government, hii ya affordable housing. Tumeambiwa tutengeneze mikakati, Kama ni milango, madirisha, nini ya tengenezewe kwa youth polytechnic zetu, ndiyo watu wetu waweze kusaidika na wapate kazi. Kwa hivyo huyo ni mradi moja, tutatumia kwa TVET zetu. Na tuko na mpango mzuri katika county ya Machakos. Kwa hivyo, mimi sina mengi ya kusema, ndugu yangu, nimeambiwa ni kusalimia sana na mweshimu wa kalonzo musioka. Nimeongea na yeye nikikuja hapa. Na yeye amesema ile yote inaweza kusaidia watu wa Machakos, yeye ana ana shida nayo. Kwa sababu anapenda watu wake wa Machakos. Kana muasiata. Na nimesene. Tiwo. Ando hapa thuko ba, no mesene. Tisawa. Kwa u, sisi hatuna shida. Tutafanya kazi. Na nyinyi kwa sababu wale wamesimamiwa na mheshimiwa rais ndio hata sisi huku county tumewasimamia. Hakuna mwananchi wa rais, hakuna mwananchi wa governor. Wananchi wote ni wamo ni wamoja. Kwa hivyo anything ile kitu itakuja kusaidia wananchi wetu sisi kama serikali ya county government tukifanya na serikali kuu tutashirikiana watu wetu waweze kusaidika. Na tumeshukuru sana. Hata kama hatukumpigia kura, mmetupatia Chief um, PSS watatu mumetupatia minister eh? na najua kuna kazi mingi sana mpati, mtapatia watu wetu sisi tunashukuru we thank yule mtu hawezi kukubali eh? kurudisha shukrani eh? mundu tatunga mubea ti mundu museo tia uwe tina anengi wa maminister tina anengi wa minister ele tisawa na maatu nenga ma PS Tia ilo tungo mubea. Mbeze isu ike nuka haba. Ike nuka haku ukuitu. Mayika mande wakula kungi maike kao kukuitu. Kwa hivyo sis tunashukuru sana. Tuna, tuna we thank his excellency. We also thank him. Na deputy yake. Na wawe pia. Tulikuwa na mkutano sisi magavana. Kama the uh, asal areas. Tukaitwa nikanda kwa list. Nikaangalia machako zai kuwa hapo. Mimi nikamwambia uh, deputy governor de, sorry deputy president nikamwambia tafadhali we na mheshimiwa rais 
tembeeni ukambani muone. Ukambani kukona shida. Hata nikiwa kitui nilimwambia nilingia kwa gari peke yangu, nikatembea masinga, nikaona vile kulikuwa na shida. Huku kwetu kukona shida. Na nashukuru mulikubali kutuongezea kwa hiyo list na chakula imeanza kukuja. Asanteni sana, tunashukuru. Munatengeneza 400 dams, alituambia Machakos County ikuwe ndani ya hizo 400 dams. Sisi tutashirikiana na nyinyi, mimi sina mengi ya kusema. Hapa sisi tunafanya kazi vizuri. Our security forces are A1. The county commissioner na watu wake tunafanya kazi na wao vizuri. Tunasaidiana serikali ya county na serikali kuu hapa mashinani tunafanya kazi vizuri. It's a very peaceful place. As here we don't have any problems. Kwa hivyo tuendelee na kufanya kazi pamoja kwa sababu sisi wote tunafanyia mwananchi moja. Mheshimiwa ningependa kuchukua hii nafasi sasa ni kualike na kabla sijakualika sisi tunakuaga na national anthem yetu ya Machakos County. Na because we are very patient and we know God and we not and we know God is able Tunajua machakos yetu itaendelea vizuri. Alama mwetela mwiai. Keu bwabinya wo. Makamba tanandwa utandio. Makasemba mate unoa. Makatambo kama teo nyala Mwe aima nyesia Nyesia kwetela Beba ma nyesia Ma nyesia kwetela I would like to take this opportunity To welcome my brother the Chief Minister of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Wycliffe Musalia Mudavadi. Asante sana Madam Governor Your Excellency Wavinya Ndeti Mheshimiwa Kawaya Rafiki yangu na ndugu yangu Regional Commissioner ama County Commissioner Partners wetu wa Red Cross na World Vision MCS wetu ndugu na dada wa Mwala wa Machakos Hamjambo Mimi ndio Musalia Mudavadi Na leo nimekuja kujiunga na nyinyi kwa siku hii ambayo ni amana sana tuzungumuze kidogo alafu tutende wajibu wetu wa kupeana chakula kwa wale ambacho wale ambao wanahitaji sana kusaidiwa siku ya leo. Lakini kabla sijaenda hapo nataka ni kubali kwamba governor wa Vinyendeti ni wa ukoo. Baba yake moja ambaye anaitwa Nduva anaishi London ameoa dada ya mama yangu. Kwa hivyo tuko na ukoo ambao naingia hapo. Kwa hivyo mimi nikija hapa, mimi nima, najua nimekuja kwa dada yangu na sasa tuende pamoja. Wale ambao wamenena hapa wamenena kwa sababu taifa letu liko kwa hali 
ya ukamwe hali ya shida na vile regional commissioner amewaeleza madam roda ni kwamba watu karibu milioni ine wanaumia kutokana na kiangazi ambacho kimeleta tabu kwa binadamu na pia kwa mifugo na hasara nyingi sana inapatikana katika taifa letu kwa sababu ya jangwa hili nikisimama hapa kuna mpango ambao umewekwa na serikali ukiongozwa na William Samoi Ruto yeye yeah, ameelekea upande wa Turkana kuongoza mpango kama huu kama rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya naibu wake Mheshimiwa Rigathe yuko upande wa Kajado kule Bisil na mimi nimekuja Machakos na wenzetu wengi wameenda katika sehemu tofauti kwa sababu kuna shida katika taifa letu sisi tukisimama hapa watu karibu nusu milioni katika kaunti ya Machakos wako kwa hali ya hatari kwa sababu ya huo ukamwe kwa hivyo tumekuja pamoja tukishirikiana na wenzetu kama World Vision kama shirika la msalaba mwekundu Red Cross tukisema kwamba ni lazima sisi wote tuvute pamoja pia na serikali za county tujaribu kusaidia wananchi pahali popote walipo kwa wakati huu ambao kuna shida ningependa tena kusisitiza kwamba hatujafika mwisho wa jangwa hili wale ambao me, wataalamu ambao wamekuwa wakidadisi ama wakitabiri vile mvua itakuja wanatuonyesha kwamba hali hii ya ukosefu wa mvua huenda ikaongezeka hadi paka labda mwezi wa Februari na kwenda zaidi kwa hivyo ni jukumu letu kama wa Kenya na kama serikali kushirikiana haraka na kuweka mipango ambayo itatusaidia ili tupunguze ile shida ambayo itatokana na hali ya ukamwe na wenzetu wamenena kuhusu kujenga mabawa kuhusu kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mbegu ambazo zitapeanwa ambazo zinaweza stahamili ile hali ya ukamwe na pia tuwe na njia ya kuhakikisha kwamba logistics za kufikia watu wengi ziko sawa. Hatuwezi tukafanya sisi peke yetu. Ni lazima tushirikiane sehemu zote za kiserikali, county na ya kitaifa na marafiki zetu. Kwa hivyo tutapeana chakula kidogo hapa lakini safari ni ndefu. Na mimi nataka nisisitize kwamba baada ya uchaguzi baada ya uchaguzi shida ziko tuweke mambo ya election nyuma kidogo kwa sababu hata tukiendelea na blame game hatutasaidia sasa mamlaka yamepewa na wananchi kwa wale wako kwa wadhifa mbalimbali so now we must put behind us the blame game because if we engage in the blame game sooner or later the currency of blame game will end and it might end faster than we imagine so we must now move away from the blame game to service delivery and support for the people of Kenya from wherever we sit. Hiyo ndio message ambayo mimi nataka nisisitize. Rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya mwezi huu atakuwa akiwakilisha taifa letu katika kongamano kubwa la kitaifa kule Egypt kuhusu mambo ya climate change. 
kwa sababu hali ya anga ulimwenguni imeanza kubadilika sana na tusipochunga kama binadamu tutakuwa na shida kwa sababu climate change ndio inafanya tuko hapa sasa kwa mambo ambayo ni ya intervention Rais ametangaza kwamba anataka katika muhula yake wa kwanza na wa pili tukimaliza tuwe tumepanda katika Kenya hii mabilioni na mabilioni za miti na mimi nimefurahi kwamba hapa mumetangaza kwamba hiyo program pia mtakuwa nayo tuhakikishe kwamba hiyo environmental conservation ambayo imetangazwa tuhusike tupande miti tusikate miti kiholela na ndugu yangu mwala wewe kama mwenyekiti wa energy committee hiyo ni en, kamati ya muhimu sana tunataka pia tujiulize ni kwa nini mwananchi anakata miti anakata miti kwa sababu anatafuta energy anatafuta fuel ya kupika chakula sasa kwa huo utaratibu wa sola wakati tunaweka sola ya kufanya pumping ya maji tutafute mbinu ya kuhakikisha kwamba pia katika hali ya cooking we can come up very rapidly and a lot of people have already started doing that we find a way of making sure through legislation and even when necessary through interventions of dealing with taxation obstacles to hakikisha kwamba even for cooking the ordinary household can have proper solar cooking facilities ili wawache kukata miti watumie jua kupika chakula na haya yote yatawezekana ikiwa tutashirikiana pamoja tuweke tuzungumuze tujadiliane na tuwe na sera ambazo zinalenga mwananchi hilo ndio jukumu letu nataka tena niseme kwamba mimi governor nimewahi mara nyingi sana kupita kwa ndege nikifata hiyo mto athi ukianzia Nairobi the river is black kama hii microphone mimi nazungumza nayo ukiwa juu unaona ni nyeusi ukikuja chini unaona unaona kwamba inaanza kukua green so it is a very serious issue very serious and i can tell you that the government is looking very seriously on a serious program ambayo itakuwa chini ya deputy president kuhakikisha kwamba the cleaning of Nairobi river is an urgent issue on the agenda the rivers of Nairobi zile zinakuja alafu zinamwaga unakuwa athi athi river ni lazima there is a concerted and deliberate effort and urgent one and we are appealing even to the international community kwamba we must clean Nairobi river we must clean it once we clean them earth river will become clean and also the people who are discharging zile factories ambazo zina discharge uchafu na sumu kwa haya maji it is going to be very expensive and punitive very soon if they don't stop that habit kwa sababu maisha ya watu yako hara, kwa hali hatari, ya hatari maisha ya mifugo na kadhalika ule ugonjwa wa kansa ama saratani ambao wavinya amezungumzia ni ugonjwa ambao una shida nyingi sana saratani ikiingia kwa boma lako saratani ikiingia kwa boma lako basi umaskini umeingia it is a very expensive disease and it can wipe out the investments of a family 
when they are treating their loved ones against the disease of cancer. Kwa hivyo ni lazima sisi wote tushirikiane tuhakikishe mambo yatakuwa sawa. Nikimalizia nataka tu niwahakikishie kwamba William Samoi Ruto ni rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Hata bagua serikali yake haita bagua ati nani alitupigia kura ama nani hakutupigia kura. Ukweli wa mambo kila mkenya analipa ushuru. Na kila mkenya ni lazima ahudumiwe. Nafasi yake ya kidemokrasia ya kuchagua kiongozi ambaye anataka itakuja baada ya kila miaka mitano. Na mimi nataka niwahakikishie kwamba sisi katika serikali ya Kenya kwanza ni wangwana. Hatutakuwa na tabia ya kutumia nguvu za serikali kushurutisha watu na kuwaweka kwa kona kuwalazimisha lazima wawe kwa mrengo fulani wa serikali. Hiyo mambo tunataka ikome katika Kenya hii watu wawe huru wachague viongozi wao vile wanavyotaka na wawachane na mambo ya kusema serikali itachukutumia nguvu za kibavu kimabavu kuwalazimisha wawe na mrengo fulani. We want that to be the past. Tunataka tutoke pale. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka niambie governor wa Vinyandeti we shall work together. Tutafanya kazi pamoja. Mwala here knows very well ye ni Kenya kwanza we shall work together. Hatutakuwa na ubaguzi, tunataka wa Kenya wote wasonge mbele, tusaidie watoto wetu kwa mashule na programs ambazo mko nazo za kuweka chakula kwa mashule na kadhalika zitakuwa za muhimu sana because that is how we are going to help in transiting from this very difficult time of drought and hunger. Kwa hivyo nitawaachia hapo ili nisizunguze sana na mheshimiwa wa Vinya ambia ndugu yangu Kalonzo uh, asante sana. Kwa salamu zake. Uh, we 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 appreciate yeye ni rafiki yangu, yeye ni ndugu yangu. Uh, siasa ni namna hiyo. Lakini sisi wote ni nini? Ni wa Kenya. Na tuendelee mbele tufanya kazi kama taifa ambalo linataka kila mtu awe pamoja. Kwa mambo ya usalama nashukuru sana kusikia vile governor amesema kwamba katika eneo hii eh, kuna ushirikiano mzuri sana kati ya security wote na government agencies zote na wananchi na security kwa kwa hali ambayo eh, ni sawa kwa wa Kenya that is very good and we thank you for it kwa hivyo nadhani tumemaliza hapo sitaongea regional governor thank you for giving us that st those statistics zinaonyesha the situation is serious i hope the members of the media the fourth estate you will pick up those that data those statistics are very crucial in helping people understand that we are facing a crisis uh, in the country kwa hivyo nasema asante sana Munga wabariki, tugawanya chakula kwa sababu uh, kusema ukweli labda wengi wetu hapa wametembea kutoka mbali na ni vizuri wapate nafasi mapema warudi nyumbani waanze kupika chakula jamii yao ipate nafu. Asanteni sana na Mungu wabariki. ingia kwa kipindi cha kugawa chakula kwa sababu tukimaliza pale basi tutaweza kuondoka ningependa kumuomba father Stephen ingia kwa maoni Ako hapa God is good and all the time kabla ya sala kwa mgeni wetu
Prime Cabinet Secretary as a church. Or this number task ya kuangalia wananchi wa Kenya. Fikisha shukrani zetu kama kanisa tuko mashinani and we know fenye watu wetu wameteseka kwa ajili ya jamii. Tusema ni asante for gracing the occasion. Kwa our governor we want to thank you kwanza kwa upendo ambao umenionyesha kwa watu wa Machakos na Kenya tunakutakia mema tunasema ni asante kwamba you said less than two months mambo yanaanza kusonga mbele we appreciate and thank god for that to our member of parliament engineer tunakupongeza kwa ile kazi umepewa ya Kenya you are son we are proud of you and you have done a lot in this region nimeona maji ndani ya maji ambayo umeanzisha kweli tukimfuata hiyo barabara hawa watu wa Mungu watasadika kwa viongozi wetu our county commissioner and your team tunasema ni asante kwa ushirikiano ambao tuko nao kudumisha amani na kuhakikisha kwamba sera za serikali zinaendelea sisi tunasema ni asante kama kanisa tutawaombea tutawakia mema kwa sababu hawa wananchi wanashiriki katika kanisa na tunaona hawawezi kwamba vizuri kama wako na jaa Otherwise, kila mocha tunasema ni asante kwa kufanikisha sheria za leo watu wa red cross service to humanity is service to god na watu wa world vision we want to appreciate the good work that you are doing to elevate and to empower our people otherwise tutaomba najua msaada wa kwa kweli ni kutoka kwa Mungu When you read Exodus chapter 3 God said I have seen and heard the cry of my people you are our Moses our leaders kindly lead us to overcome the many challenges that we face every day kwa hivyo tukinye sasa tumwite Mungu atubariki na tukikimya tuombe mvua tuombe mvua kwa jina la baba la mwana na roho mtakatifu bwana awe nanyi mungu tunasema ni asande kwa wema wako na baraka zako nyingi ambazo umetukimia umetupenda sana ukatupatia serikali viongozi ambao mwapa nafasi ya kutuongoza kama wachungaji walio wema Mungu wakati lumba ulimwengu uliweka mimea ili watu waweze kupata chakula tunasema ni asante kwa sababu tumeona wema wako na kwa kweli wewe ni mwaminifu tunasema ni asante kwa serikali yetu viongozi ambao umetujalia rais mpendwa daktari William naibu wake waziri the prime cabinet secretary ambao umewapa nafasi ya kuongoza nchi yetu ya Kenya serikali tunaiweka mikononi mwako na asa kwa hatua hii nzuri ambao wamechukua ya kulisha kujaribu kuondoa umaskini na njaa tunajua wewe mwenyezi una njia zako nzuri za kuhakikisha kwamba watoto wako wamepata shibe wabariki wote wa serikali ili watu wako 
wa kuona wa kutambue tunaomba kwa ajili ya serikali yetu ya Machakos County ambayo inaongozwa na governor Mpendwa Odina ambaye umemweka awe kiongozi shupavu katika kusikiliza kilio kuongoza wana wa Machakos endelea na kumpatia nguvu na hekima akishirikiana na serikali yetu ku pamoja na viongozi wote ili machakos iweze kuwa mahali pazuri ambapo tutakuona asande kwa afla ya leo tulikuomba tukianza kuna wengi wamechangia kufanikisha tunawabarikisha Mungu tenda mema katika maisha yao tenda mema katika shughuli zao asande kwa maneno mengi mazuri ya upendo ya busara ambayo tumeyapokea kupatia matumaini tunaomba kila siku tuzidi kukuona na kukutambua bariki subcount yetu ya mwala viongozi ambao tuko nao hapa tunaona yale mambo watoto wako na wapitia tunaomba katika hali hii ya kuwasaidia na kuwapa angalau kitu cha kujipatia chakula ili Mungu waweze kuishi kwa amani na upendo kama tumekosea kwa jambo tusamee kama kanisa tunaomba kwa pamoja tujenge ufalme wako tukimaliza tunaomba utembee na sisi katika safari ya kwenda makwetu bariki watoto wetu tumeona watoto ambao wana vipanji vya kupendeza watoto wa shule za upili msingi au ni watoto wetu tunaweka mikononi mwako hasa tukiambia wataimiwa wa form 4 darasa la 8 na wale wa grade 6 tunaomba wakati huu tunajua wanakaribia kufanya mtihani Mungu atembea na wao bariki wazazi ambao wako hapa na wananchi kwa ujumla ndio na wao wape matumaini kwani wewe unatupenda kuna wale wana changamoto mbalimbali sana mbele za kimwili tupe moyo matendo ya kutembea pamoja na tunaomba hayo kwa njia ya Kristo bwana wetu na Mungu mwenyezi apende kutubariki kubariki soezi hili la kupeana msaada kwa familia zetu kwa jina la baba la mwana na roho mtakatifu thank you so much Asante sana fadha kwa kipindi hicho uh, sasa tutaelekea kwa kipindi uh, ambayo ni muhimu sana na ningependa kuuliza wananchi mahali tupo tuweze kutulie kila mmoja wetu atapata chakula uh, tutaanza na wale wachache ambao watakuwa na mgeni wetu wa heshima baadaye tutulie hivyo si mnaona lori ziko pale nyuma kila mtu ataenda nyumbani na chakula kwa hivyo tusiwe na msukumano wowote tuwe watulivu at i think uh, we'll take this opportunity to welcome you so that you carry on and one 
jug is uh, 2.5 kilos. So for 10 kgs, we're going to put four. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. 